All right, gents, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. You know the deal. If you like the videos, click the subscribe and click the little chime button so that uh, you'll get notifications when we put out new videos, new video every Friday. All right, this week we're gonna start talking about what the Leatherback Gear Ballistic Bag. Now, why? Why is that important? Everybody, it's in the news everywhere. Everybody's worried about uh, active shooter attacks, all right? And, you know, the, the attacks at the school. Yeah, and while we were talking about that, and while it was happening, everybody was worried about the shootings at the churches. And while that was happening, everybody was worried about shooting at their concert in uh, Las Vegas. My point is don't worry about the last attack. Worry about the next attack. Okay? Uh, it's about situational awareness and it's about taking care of yourself. You do not want to uh, have to rely on local law enforcement showing up five minutes later and you don't want to rely on politicians taking care of you. Come to this channel, you're obviously here because you're willing to take care of yourself. So, on that note, I want to talk about this great new bag guy. There's a company we found, it's called Leatherback Gear. They make, no joke, ballistic bags. Now, there have been ballistic bags out there before, uh, big heavy plates in them, and I'm like, you know, I can put a ballistic plate into just about any bag, so what? What's the big deal? Well, these bags right here, um, Leatherback Gear is founded by uh, active duty law enforcement and first responders, and some of these guys have actually responded to real active shooter incidents. Um, so what they've done is they've built a bag, it's got ballistic panels in it, uh, three alpha panels, pretty sweet, all right? Uh, and I've never seen a ballistic panel that light. That puppy weighs nothing. Right. Now there's panels front, panels back. Now, why do you need two panels? Why don't you just go a thicker one in one spot? Excellent question. Up top, red zipper. This zipper runs around. Ta-da, that's it, that's it. Pull one zipper and now you literally can put this thing on and you've got a plate on your front and you've got a plate on your back. They're not just cheaply made bags. These things have got everything you would expect from a good bag. All right, so it's even got an RFID pouch to protect all your personal data. It, they're good stuff. They've got uh, laptop pro, uh, protector things in them. It, they're just high quality bags. Now, as far as safety features go, um, I mentioned the plates front and back, uh, that the side, uh, side straps are removable to be used as tourniquets. Uh, and you notice there's a, a drag handle on the top. Three, it's rated for 300 pounds. So whether you're an operator overseas um, and you're trying to do low visibility ops or whether you're a, a school kid on a college campus, it doesn't matter. Bullets start flying, pop one zipper, throw it over your shoulders, and then run, hide, bunker, and be prepared to fight. Right? And uh, this bag will set you up for it. Now, they've got a couple different versions. This one is their more tactical looking bag. It's more for your operators running around overseas. It's got some mileage if you need to add extra stuff to it. Um, but then they have another one. This is very low visibility, even the color. Right? It does not look like it's a military bag. It doesn't have molly all over it. Gents, I love this bag. And uh, same things. Still got two panels. Now, they've got a messenger bag. Uh, these, this might be a little big for some small school, uh, school children. They're working on making a smaller one, but for right now, these are the two basic sizes that they have. Both of them have plates that are three alpha. All right. I can't get over how light these plates are. I, I really can't, but all right, three alpha, what does that mean for our viewers out there? Basically, three alpha, Gents, that's a Dirty Harry 44 Magnum. That's a nine millimeter. That's a 45. All right. 70% um, of shootings in the U.S. at schools are done by handguns. So um, this right here, great protection. Let's put it to the test, though. What we're going to do is we're going to run out there and we're going to take my... Uh, trusty nine millimeter. We're going to plug it with regular ball. We're going to shoot it with some uh, Civic Duty. New sexy ammo, and of course my old reliable, the Barnes TAC XP. 
Then we're gonna pull out the, uh, the 45. We're gonna shoot it with regular military ball. We're gonna shoot it with the hottest hollow points that I personally load, uh, plus P pluses. And then I've got some uh, golden sabers, the standard for law enforcement for years. Some of the hardest hitting 45 ammo that you can find. Uh, so anyways, uh, we say we take it out the range and we'll put this puppy to the test. We've got our nice bag now. Um, I could sit it like this, hang it that 300 pound uh, drag handle. Not worth, that's not how it's designed to be used. Again, the red zipper on the top, something happens, unzip it. We're gonna sit it over the target. This is uh, AR500 steel. Thank you MGM Targets for uh, providing it for us. Let's see what this little puppy can take. All right, gents, first, uh, the third bullet we're gonna shoot is gonna be the Civic Duty by uh, G2 Research. The second bullet will be the Barnes Tac XP. And the first one I'm gonna shoot is gonna be your standard nine millimeter ball. All right, now we're gonna do the 45. Third round I'm gonna shoot is the uh, Golden Saber. Second round we're gonna shoot is my personal plus P plus loads that I personally hand load. And then uh, first round we're gonna shoot is just your standard military ball. All right, let's go check it out. All right, now I saw paint fly. So that means this thing got hit hard. Why did it get hit hard? Because this is a steel plate. It's not giving like a human being would give. All right, so let, let's take this puppy off. We're gonna take a look at it. All right, I got my holes, two, four, six. I got a bunch of crap right there on that one. All right, now what happened was my bullets all fell to the bottom. Went through. Right there, my 45s. Gents, I ain't got no holes on the back of this. That's foam that's been compressed. Holy cow. Brother, there ain't no holes here at all. That's how it looked. It was like that getting hit. My 345 rounds, easier to find. That's that um, Civic Duty. <laughs> Got a bunch of little lead shards in here. I'm thinking that's all that's left of my other two nine mil bullets. All right, gents, that's about as hard as you could hit this thing. We actually hit it hard enough to actually leave marks on the steel. All right, um, don't shoot it from that close at home, but we like to uh, be realistic with uh, shooting distances. All right, that thing got pounded. That's fine, but uh, sometimes overseas running around, um, you know, I, I don't have guys shooting nine mils and 45s at me. I've got guys shooting AKs at me, 5.56 five, at me. Um, Unfortunately, it's some of the active shooter incidents here in the States are the same way. So uh, let's ramp this up a little bit and uh, let's, uh, let's look at doing some, uh, let's look at doing some rifle bullets. All right, gents, so it survived our pistol hits and, and that's what uh, your level three alpha is supposed to do. It's supposed to be able to take shrapnel, take pistol rounds. Um, but let's say 
let, unfortunately, let's say this is being worn by school kids at school and uh, it's an active shooter with an AR of 5.56 or AK 7.62. Those plates are not designed to stop that, right? Um, but again, there's two plates. So instead of splitting it, putting both one plate on the front, one on the back, if you know you're doing nothing but run, hide, leave both plates on the back, run away, that's now gonna give you two layers, two plates on your back, protect the back a little better. Well, what else do, what else do these kids have while they're, uh, while they're hauling this big uh, bag around, this big book bag? What else are they gonna have besides those plates? Uh, they're going to have books, they're going to have their water bottles, they're going to have all their papers, um, they're going to have their cell phones and their tablets. Uh, most schools are issuing laptops. So uh, that laptop and everything else, these books, that adds additional protection. So what we're going to do is we're going to add them all to our bag also. Now, these are high quality bags. They come with a nice sexy uh, laptop pocket. We're gonna stick our laptop in there. We're gonna put the cord in there. Why not? I'll tuck it down in the corner. I'm not gonna cheat and shoot through the cord. All right, um, books, biology. I actually got an A in this class. I probably paid like $300 for this book. Thank you very much. And St. Martin's Guide to Writing. Yeah, wow, whew. Better than NyQuil right there. All right, so we're gonna put that stuff in here. Get it all set nice and good. Now my daughter's book bag weighs a lot more than that. Of course, she's up for valedictorian, so she hauls all her books everywhere she goes. I'm gonna go put this up on the target. All right, since we're gonna shoot it with standard 55 grain, uh, 5.56, most common bullet you're gonna find redneck shooting. All right. Ear Pro. That looked like that hurt. Let's go take a look. All right, so you can see the hole. You see where I hit right here? All right, it was leaning a little bit. Um, bullet went through. This is where that first plate is. All right, now if I, I'll turn it sideways so you can see. All right, easily went through this. Now here's where that other plate is, that first plate. I'm gonna zip this part open here. All right, this is where you'd have this part right here on your front and this part right here, uh, over here. This is where that plate is. Now that's the same plate that we already shot with the 5.56 and the nine millimeter. So we, I mean, um, the 45 and the, the nine millimeter already had six hits on it. So this plate has been weakened already. And uh, the first plate failed. I can see the hole right there. You can see it, uh, the first plate failed. But it didn't fail by much, okay? Now the way this is set up is you've got your next plate. Next plate's right here. That next plate is hit, it's hit hard. But it didn't go through. I didn't even need these books. These books are fine. I didn't need the laptop. Laptop's back here. Jen says no mark on this laptop, which means what? It means there's no mark at all on this child that was on the front of this bag. All right, so um, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this. This is awesome. But of course, it means I'm gonna go bigger. We're gonna hit it again. Uh, this time though, um, we're gonna do away with this. And uh, Chad, won't you hand me that next pig over there? Put my... Oh, 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna hit it with the RPK. We're gonna hit it with 7.62 by 39, the uh, weapon of choice for most of your uh, terrorists on the planet. All right, so we'll hit it with that next. Let me go put this target back up down here. One more time. All right, so now we're gonna shoot it with 7.62 by 39. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so we just shot it with the 7.62 by 39. I also hit really close to where the 5.56 had already weakened this bag, which was where the six pistol rounds had already weakened these plates also. So obviously went right through uh, the regular part, but where the plates are is the plates sit right here. Obviously would have gone through here my next pouch, if I can find my way. No problem, flew right through here. Again, we didn't have any books in here. We didn't have anything in here. Went right through. This is where that first plate is. I'm gonna pull it all the way apart for you. It crushed the crap out of that first plate. No problem at all. Already weakened in this area. And you see it actually pulled fibers out. Passed right through, very, very close to where the 5.56 had already uh, weakened it. Now you notice I've got two rounds right here. Two hits on this. This is where that second plate is. So if you were wearing both with it zipped up on your back, you would have both plates on your back. You would. So if we can get inside where that other plate is. I'm gonna get into where the books are first. All right, my books were slid to the side. I've got a tear in the nylon. But that's a clean book right there. There's no holes in that, unfortunately. I really didn't like this class. Next book, nada, no holes, which means that nice pretty laptop. Still fires right up. I'm gonna pull that plate out for you so you can see what it's hitting what it's doing. Gents, this is that second plate. It mushes a lot. It deforms a lot. You can see where my two rifle hits were. 1556, 1762 by 39. Very, very close together. First one weakened, the second one's hitting a weakened spot. And gents, there's, there's no hole here. There's no hole on this plate at all, on the back side. That plate just saved that family member's life. Whether it's a uh, operator overseas, that's the near side, or whether it's a, uh, a school kid at a local school, that round's right there, gents. Pull some of these, some more of these layers out. See if I can get in there. That's the 7.62. That's the hard hitting AK round. That's as far as it got. It still had three quarters of this plate to go. I'm blown away. This is awesome. I did not think that these that this bag would do that awesome. Gents, that's great news. That's that's awesome news. Awesome news. I want you to see the logo. Leatherback gear. This is their operator's bag. Okay, their low vis bag. Uh, exact same plates. The panels are the same. The 
three alpha plates. Uh, they have a letter carrier bag, same plates. Great stuff. So anyways, we reached out to them and uh, they've offered, because I, I try to take care of you guys, they have offered us a 10% discount for Tactical Rifleman viewers. Use TR10 as the promo code and you can get 10% off of this. Um, I, I know what I'm getting for all my family members that are still running around and uh, that other gray bag, I think that's gonna be my new everyday carry. Anyway, gents, thanks for watching. I, I, I'm blown away, this is great news and this is why, uh, this, this is why Tactical Rifleman does stuff like this. And um, we'll see you next time. Y'all take care, shoot straight. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything. If you like the shirt that we're wearing in the video, you can get it in our store.